Garrett Blevins here with the second to last day of my uh, volume block. Very excited to get to the end of this volume block here. Uh, it has been an interesting training cycle. Um, if you want to see everything I did, you can look there. Uh, but film some of my squats, not all of them today. I'm probably going to have a little bit shorter video for the next two videos. Uh, we'll see how that works out. 545 felt really heavy today. Um, Depth was fine, bar path is coming a little forward, that usually happens when my hips start to get stiff. Uh, but yeah, I mean, weights were moving, but it's only 545. This is something I did uh, two sets of five pause squats with before, and it was still feeling a little heavy on this day. Um, but I'm making some progress, and one of the things that I remembered as I went through this workout is, you know, if you're in the end of a volume cycle, and you're hitting PRs, or you feel great, well, then you probably didn't have a very good volume block because you should have a fatigue debt. You shouldn't be able to set PRs when you're coming in your program at the end of a volume block. Um, you should be coming into those at the end of a peaking cycle and setting some rep PRs when you're uh, in an intensity block. And with all that said, I've still been hitting some PRs on bench press. Um, squats have not been horrible. And some of what I've been doing has been PRs, especially with the pause work. So... I need to, need to remember that when you're in that fatigue debt, you're not always going to be at maximal strength. And that's one of the hardest things to remember and learn as a lifter is when you're training, you're not always at 100% and that that's okay. Uh, a lot of people will break down and test their strength. They need to prove it to themselves that they can still uh, lift whatever weight that is. Some people, they have to max on bench. Some people, they have to max on deadlifts. And you know... That's just not something that a, uh, a real successful advanced lifter is going to be doing. Um, that's something that younger lifters do. But the more and more you lift, uh, the more you learn that you're not going to lose strength out of nowhere. If you're training hard, it's not all just going to disappear one day. And it's almost, uh, it's almost a type of insecurity where if you have to test that strength and see where it's at, the um, question is why? What, what do you have to prove to anybody? Um, and that's a question that I ask myself a lot of times, and since I don't have anything to prove to anyone else or myself, I don't max so much anymore uh, mid-cycle. In any case, uh, for those of you watching who've made it to the end of my video, uh, throw some questions in the comments below. Um, stuff you'd either like me to talk about in uh, voiceovers and videos coming up in the future, or if you have some uh, topics that you would like just an informational video on, uh, throw it down there in the comments section. I'll see what I can do uh, if I have uh, good information to give out to you. In any case, keep putting in the work and stay on those gains. Hope wherever you're at, you're doing well. Blessings.